Yes. <laughs> There's the zen of weeding. You know, you could just be in a good headspace. I think it's, I think it's uplifting for most people. Janice Nair knows whereof she speaks. As a lifelong gardener and past president of the Canadian Mental Health Association, she has always harbored the dream of creating a CMHA garden where clients could grow along with the seeds they nurture. It's always been my belief that when you are working in the soil that, that you can heal, that you can get rid of many things and the idea of people working together here cooperatively to create things seemed like a great idea. That great idea is now in its third year of operation. The Healthy Harvest Market Garden grows fresh produce in its open garden and greenhouse operation on Beaver Creek Road. We had been looking for some time at, at um, trying to find ways of employing um, people with uh, mental health issues. And without them, it wouldn't look like this. I mean, you come and you see, oh, there's only a couple of people here. How did they do this all? But it's because, you know, there are people who put in huge numbers of hours. And those hours aren't just spent at the garden. They're also at the farmer's market every Saturday morning where the produce is sold. That's incredibly important, and it's also important to have um, people interact with the community because... Um, a lot of times people on mental health disability don't have much of an access to the larger community. There's another way that this group is reaching out to meet the community. They're taking part in a public farm tour, sponsored in part by Parks and Recreation. It is a tour of nine local farms. The purpose is to connect people with local food sources and to help people realize how important those farms are to all of us. I went on this tour two years ago and there were incredible um, amounts of people and kids and so I'm, I'm hoping that's what we get here. And they enjoy it and they get to see how we grow things and get to taste it. Each of the farms also has activities so they can help do a little bit of weeding, help doing some transplanting, maybe the onions will be ready and they can help pull some onions so they can actually take part in some activities but learn about the farm and learn about what's happening on each of these farms. It makes me feel good. It makes me feel that yes, we're we're getting there. Right? That we're we're beginning to see the potential. Yeah. The Alberni Valley Farm Tour is happening on Sunday, September 16th from 11 till 4, and it's completely free. Just stop in at one of these locations to pick up the brochure with directions to and information about all nine participating farms. In Port Alberni, I'm Nancy Wilmot.